Following the tragic story on Monday, Democrats took their preferred route in response by saying we should take away your rights, your human rights, because a criminal did a bad thing. It seemingly makes no sense to anyone who cares about civil rights, but this is the preferred path of Democrats. In response to this, Rep Bowman, a congressman, began yelling in the halls of Congress as Republicans walked past Thomas Massey. We're a big fan of Thomas Massey, stopped to actually talk to him, but instead he just yells, creating a viral moment, which unfortunately brings up another important point. They don't care. It's performative outrage. There will be nothing done on this matter. The Democrats don't actually ever propose anything that will solve these problems. And even when they come out and claim gun control is the answer, what they do is they propose banning some arbitrary item that they will say, we're taking action because our voters said do something. So we're going to ban a, a, a blobo boof gun modification. And it's like, what? What are you banning? What does it? Huh? Here's how it works. So the Democrats are like, we should ban assault weapons. And you're like, OK, what does that mean? And they're like weapons, uh, weapons of war. And you're like, all weapons can be used in war. Are you talking about assault rifles, which are already heavily regulated under the NFA and damn near impossible to get. I guess it's got to be pre, it's got to be like a 1980s or earlier uh, uh, model. Um, what's the proposal? Oh, the proposal is it can't be black and it can't have a pistol grip and a foregrip or a folding stock. And you're like, wait, wait, what? What does that have to do with what happened? This person used a Keltec Sub 2000, a nine, a nine millimeter carbine. Well, you know, we're going to ban. Here's why. They want to say they did something. So for you, ladies and gentlemen, can, you can have a Ruger 1022 with a rifle grip and a 100 round drum. And that's fine. But you put a pistol grip on it. Mm, uh oh, now it's an assault weapon. That doesn't make sense. See, the problem is these Democrats in these cities don't know anything about guns. And as such, when they hear we're banning assault weapons, the Democrats are like, yay, and they clap and they vote for it because it sounds like something is happening, but it's not. What we're getting is actually just performative outrage in this viral video of Jamal Bowman just yelling nonsense. And I will break down that argument and I will show you what the Republican Thomas Massey has to say. And then we'll talk about real solutions to these problems because the Democrats, they're not offering them. But before we do that, my friends, we're actually sponsored this time around. Go to surfingintermetsafe.com and download Virtual Shield. I don't usually do sponsor spots on this channel and actually haven't in a very long time. But Virtual Shield is the first sponsor I ever had. And they requested it. And I said, much obliged. Virtual Shield is helping bring you this video. It's a virtual private network service that provides a basic layer of security for you as you browse the internet. So if you're worried about your data being stolen by governments, corporations, or hackers, this is a basic layer of security. I always say we, we don't expect people to break into our homes, but we still lock our doors and windows at night. This is effectively the same thing. So go to surfingintermetsafe.com and get a Virtual Shield VPN for $8.33 per month. It also helps you bypass censorship when different countries or actions are taken to try and stop your internet connection. A VPN can help bypass unconstitutional measures. So again, surfing internet safe. Now, let's get back to this news and let me play for you this video. And um, well, it's loud to put it mildly. Here we go. At all, cowards, pressure them, force them to respond to the question, why the hell won't you do anything to save America's children? And let them explain that all the way up until election day of 2024. There it is, right there. Election day 2024. That's the only thing he cares about. Because no matter how many times we actually try to explain, they don't care. They don't listen. Let them explain it all the way up to election day of 2024. Mm -hmm. They're freaking cowards. They're gutless. They're what not here. I'm talking about gun violence. You know, there's never been I'm a school about gun violence. in a school that allows teachers to carry. Carry guns? Would you, would you, would you more guns need to more death. More guns lead to more death. Look at the data. You're not looking at any data. You're, you're, you're carrying the water for the gun lobby. You're carrying water for the gun lobby. 
Congressman Bowman, if your solution to a problem of criminal activity is to suspend my rights, I will do everything in my power to make sure people do hear that up to Election Day and they don't vote for you. But whatever, you're in a Democrat district where they'll probably vote for a glass of water if there was a D slapped on it. How's that, Nancy Pelosi? So let's pause right there. He says nine year old children are dying. Um, I'm wondering if Rep Bowman is in favor of the medication of young people that results in many of these circumstances, because we never talk about that, do we? See, the Democrat policy is drug up the young people, but just make sure they can't have guns. And I'm kind of like, okay, well, hold on. How about we don't drug them up? We try and figure out what's causing these problems. Yes, we shouldn't give them guns, but suspending my rights? I am not diagnosed with any mental illness. I am a sane, rational, logical, law-abiding citizen who simply wants to protect himself. Why should I lose my rights because of the actions of a few? Have you ever worked in a school? Have you ever worked in a school? This is just about my question. Have you ever worked in a school? You will not answer my question. Don't stop and talk to me. Okay, I'll bring it down enough. All right, folks. Have you ever Listen, worked in a school? I've got a bill to repeal. The I worked in a school for anymore. 20 years. You're just screaming. I was a teacher. I, I was screaming before you what came and interrupted every, me. Every I worked in a school for 20 years. What Thomas Massey is saying is that there has never been a school shooting at schools where teachers are allowed to carry. And in fact, on Monday, we learned that the shooter actually had another location in mind, but upon seeing armed security, decided not to attack that location. Years. So I worked in school 20 years. In every school, I was a teacher. I was a school care. counselor. I was a middle school principal. None of this means anything. I, I don't care if you work in school. Kids. My rights are not up for your vote because criminals do criminal things. Well, every day of my career, care. there's never Clown. been a shooting. Clown. Never Clown. been Clown. a shooting. Clown. It's time. Look, Clown. we've got Clown. guns here Clown. to protect Clown. us. Clown. And Clown. Clown. we believe the Clown. kids should have somebody Clown. to protect them. Every school that's allowed it has never had a shooting. Not even an accidental discharge at any of the schools. So. I just love the, 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 I don't know. It just feels so fake, all of it. I feel like Bowman was yelling and it was nonsense. And you want to know how I know it's nonsense? Because um, when they controlled all of it, when they had the House and they had the Senate and they had the presidency, he didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. It's performative. They don't want the problem to go away. The Democrats like the fact that these things happen because it gives them an opportunity to grandstand but never actually get anything done. They know the Second Amendment won't allow them to get rid of guns. They know that criminals will take these actions. And they like to play these games where they're like, you know, we can't solve this problem, says only country where it regularly happens, which is just literally not true. And then what they do is they try and compare the entirety of the 330 million people in the United States to like Denmark, like a, a country of you know, how many people live in Denmark, six to eight million, Sweden, eight million people. It's like we have 330 million. They compare a single nation in the European Union, which is more comparable to a state. They don't actually care about tell, uh, about looking at what's really going on. But what I see here with this, I'm going to go for it. I just see another example of why this country is headed towards a civil war. And a lot of people think the phrase civil war is too hyperbolic, but they're saying it on the view on The View, Billy Porter is like, we're in a civil war already. Then he goes, a civil war of the mind. Jane Fonda called for murder. What we're seeing here is performative outrage by Rep Bowman. Clearly doesn't know anything about guns. Clearly doesn't know anything about how to solve these problems. Screaming about the election because he wants to win power, not actually seeking to address the problem at hand. So let's address the problem. And I'll, I'll, I'll get into this before we get into the, 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 the larger story here. How do you stop school shootings? Well, you don't. You don't. Guns can be 3D printed. Answer the questions. 
Where are the leftists to talk about 3D printed guns? Very advanced. Anybody can make one. They don't have answers. Guns can be 3D printed. And that means if you want to limit the damage done by psychopaths, you need armed guards. Perhaps that will prevent many school shootings. The reason why I say you can't is that you can't stop an individual with no record and no history from 3D printing a gun and then going nuts. You can't stop them from getting a baseball bat or any other weapon. You can't stop it. Now, in the short term, in the long term, you could if you had a cohesive moral foundation of your country and culture. But these people believe in multiculturalism, which means you're going to see people who have varying ideologies and feel justified in taking these actions because we do not have a shared moral foundation. That's multiculturalism. This is what comes with it. Now, I actually agree with Thomas Massey. How is it that banks, banks, and banks don't even have cash anymore. They have armed guards, but children don't. We, we, we used armed guards at train stations, but not for children. Here's my proposal to Rep Bowman. Let's, let's do this. Instead of arguing, just why don't you in your district, in your jurisdiction, ban the guns? I look, I'm all for the second amendment, right? If you want to live in this place where they keep voting for these people, I say we take the guns from your banks, from your courthouses, from your train stations, because like you said, guns, open carry places have more death, right? Okay, well, let's get rid of all the guns. If government employees in schools can't have guns, why should government employees in train stations have guns? I propose this. We use Bowman's district for an an, an experiment, as it were to see if he's right. And if he believes this is true, then I think it'll work out for the best. What we'll do is in his district, we take away all the guns from the police, the courthouses, the train stations. All right. Nobody can have guns. All right. Then in in Thomas Massey's district, we will give teachers the right to keep and bear arms or better yet, armed guards at these schools. Then we just simply sit back and wait a few months and start collecting the data. Now, of course, I am of the opinion that what would happen if you did that is there would be a lot more death in Bowman's district. Yeah, I'm assuming this based on living in Chicago, where guns are heavily restricted, but criminals don't care. They do whatever they want anyway. Taking away the guns didn't solve any problems. It just made it so that people who are apt to commit crimes will be armed and those who wish to defend themselves will not be able to. And that brings me to the, uh, the weapon that was used by the shooter. It was a Caltech Sub 2000. Um, I believe that's, that's what it's called. And it's a nine millimeter carbine rifle. This means it's a rifle that shoots handgun rounds. I myself have a, a nine millimeter carbine. They're fantastic. And there's a great thread on Twitter explaining why it is a very good and important weapon. You see, people were saying on Twitter, there's no reason for anyone to have that weapon. And it just goes to show these people don't know anything about weapons. Why would you want this? Well, if you're worried about overpenetration, because you live in, an, in, in a house with other people, then you would want probably like nine millimeter hollow point or something like that, maybe frangible, so that when you are in your home, you have the aided stability of a rifle with a handgun round that doesn't overpenetrate. It makes perfect sense for home defense. It's great. I guess they would suggest that we use what, two, two, three, or five, five, six? Those things are going to rip right through those walls. That could be dangerous. We don't want that. Now, granted, I think you should choose, you know, whichever weapon you think is appropriate because all weapons are great for defense, whichever one they may be. And you have a right to defend yourself. If Bowman doesn't want to defend himself, I say he give up any armed security and armed guards and put his money where his mouth is because more guns means more death, right? Here's the ultimate problem with all of this. The Democrats keep pushing policies that are making the problem worse. And in response to the problems, they push policies to make the problem worse. What happened on Monday? A mentally ill woman took a gun, went to a school and a church and killed children. There's no, there's no sense in any kind of political motive. Nothing makes sense. Whatever the political motivation is, why kill children? Well, the left has already celebrated that saying they were future fascists. Maybe that was the motivation of the shooter. We're hearing the manifesto will be released as soon as the FBI are done putting together a profile. But what I see here is a troubled young person. I mean, 28 is not super young, but a troubled individual. And And the Democrats seek to affirm this mental illness. 
This person was clearly depressed, suffering from anxiety, seeking something. And the Democrats say, affirm it. Affirm it. Agree with them. Give them what they want. Well, when that doesn't solve their problems, it reminds me of The Sixth Sense. Remember that movie? The opening scene, man, it's like been a very long time since the movie came out. It was like 20 some odd years. The opening scene, child psychologist played by Bruce Willis is in his room with his wife and there's a dude naked in his underwear holding a gun because when this person went to Bruce Willis and said, here's what I'm suffering from, Bruce Willis just affirmed them, placated them. Now, I shouldn't say affirmed. They, they said, OK, we're going to treat you, but they didn't do anything. And this person, their problem was not solved. And that's a theme of the movie. So what we see here are troubled young people who aren't ha- actually having their problems addressed. And there are so many. The chemicals, the plastics, the PCBs, phthalates, etc., endocrine disruptors, things that are twisting and warping our minds, a, a, a demented culture that affirms people who are suffering depressive episodes and then gives them medication, which actually makes it worse. The funniest thing is I see these commercials where it's like, are you depressed? Take this drug. Drug side effects include suicidal ideation. And it's like, wait, what? You ever notice that? That some of these antidepressants have a side effect of suicidal ideation? Well, then what's the point of taking the drug if it's supposed to stop this? I think Democrat policies actually exacerbate the problems. Take a look at this story we have from the Post Millennial. California moves ahead with state sanctioned kidnapping bill that would allow therapists to take children from families without notice or provocation. Do you think a 12 year old who is suffering being taken from their family and put into the state foster system is going to become a well-adjusted individual. In all likelihood, the system will likely break this person. Here's a post reports. A California Judiciary Committee heard testimony on Tuesday for and against a bill that would allow a mental health professional to place a child as young as 12 in a residential shelter facility without parental knowledge or consent and without there being any prior allegations of incest or abuse. Assembly member Wendy Carrillo said that she was proud to present AB 665 to expand access to mental health care for young people as communities face a mental health crisis. But Aaron Friday, attorney and co-founder of parent group Our Duty, called the bill state sanctioned kidnapping. It is. It is. And so what I see from this, we have got a clear cultural problem. Young people are suffering. Not all of them. Some of them. There are young people suffering. The Democrat response, put them in the system, medicate them, effectively making the problem worse. I'll tell you what young people need. Discipline, hard work, sunshine and exercise. It's not a solution to all problems. Sometimes people are genuinely suffering from a chemical imbalance or or some other physical episode which results in mental issues. I believe that there are medications that can help them. But I believe a large portion of young people who are suffering depression, anxiety, hyperpolarization, they're scrawny or obese, They are out of shape. They are dejected. They have nothing to look forward to. And the mental illness is is a is a is is brought about by a decaying culture. Humans have expectations. We are not free from the environment. We are a part of it. And a part of human development was conflict. Those that worked hard survived. Now, with all of that being stripped away, you get people with no purpose. They're listless confused, bored. Why am I here? This results in self-harm. It also results in hyperpolarization. When these people have no purpose and don't know why they're alive, someone hands it to them. Or if they don't find it, they just lose their minds. Democrats offer them up drugs instead. The drugs don't seem to help. They only seem to make things worse. And then when something goes wrong, they say, I know, let's strip the rights of law-abiding American citizens Now, homie, don't play that. I'm not going to sit back and entertain Democrats wanting to take away our rights because of criminal activity. And Bowman could have introduced a bill. They could have passed a law a long time ago, but they don't. They don't. It's performative. We had someone on the show. I can't remember who it was. It was a member of Congress. And they said that um, who was who was it? They said that when they were trying to ban to repeal Obamacare, they actually have Republican leadership come to them and say, don't, don't do it. Don't repeal it. You're the, you're the deciding vote. Don't repeal it. Because we need the issue to campaign on. Because they are all crooked. It's what they do. And Thomas Massey's a good dude. 
I don't know if his solution is the absolute solution. Having armed teachers at schools sounds simple. I'm not so sure I'm in favor of that. I, I think teachers should be allowed to carry the same as anyone else should be allowed to carry. And I think that there should probably just be armed guards at these schools. That's it. it should be a choice that these schools choose to make. The problem with Democrats is that sometimes things exist. I don't see them coming out and saying, how do we ban tornadoes? And the response is, you're saying there's no way to stop. They just ban the guns. 3D printed guns exist. Banning them won't get rid of them. Next question. People can easily make their own guns. They did it in Egypt. You cannot ban guns. But they don't get it. And I think it's because they don't want to get it. They want to campaign. So keep up the performative outrage, I guess, Bowman. If you really cared, you would actually sit down with Thomas Massey and talk about solutions. But you don't care. You want to yell in the halls of Congress to raise your profile like you're doing right now so you can get reelected. Congratulations. It works. Next segment is, co next segment is coming up at 4 p.m. on this channel. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you all then.